What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Angel, and welcome back to Angel's Life. Today is the start of my weekly vlogs. Yay, I'm starting weekly vlogs on the channel, and I am kind of excited about it. So, today, I actually have a lot of stuff to do today, because today is payday. And on payday, there's usually a whole bunch of stuff to do. I have my little to-do list here, okay? Um... So yeah, we're just going to get started doing that. Angel, I did just fix breakfast for Angel. My room is absolutely filthy, okay? Do not judge me. We do not have time for judgment on this channel, okay? But <laughs> my room is absolutely filthy and... I need to clean it today. There's a lot that I need to do on top of the fact that I need to do most of it by 11 a.m. And it's like 8.16. So we just need to go ahead and get this bad boy started. So first off, I guess I'll start by cleaning up my room some. So let's do that. <laughs> So I'm like halfway finished cleaning up my room. There's like a couple other things that I need to do, obviously, and I need to get to the closet. But because I have to, Darius will be here on his way at 11.30 and it's 10.17. And I planned on uh, bleaching my hair this morning. I am just going to go ahead and start that. So let's go ahead and start that.
I'm going to let it sit on there for about 40 minutes. And while it's sitting on my head, I'm going to clean up the bathroom real quick. After that, I think I'm going to tone it and then I'll start getting Angel dressed. And when I tone it, I'll actually wash it out in the shower. So let's clean the bathroom some. Darius gets here around 11 30 11 45 so I'm done cleaning for the day I'm gonna go ahead and get to do all the things that I just said I was gonna do and I am going to come back with y'all when I get in a car and I'm headed to take care of the business girl so okay hey, y'all so I'm in the car I didn't show y'all what I have on but I'll show y'all later I'm in the car Angel fell asleep um, turn that damn music on. <laughs> um, I am about to head over to the bank. I need to take out the rent money or half of the rent money and half of Angel's school money. And I also need to grab a couple things out of the BX. I need to grab a box so that I can mail this stuff. Oh, and I also need to grab the money for the car. So, yeah, that's what we're about to do right now. It's not sunny anymore, so I'm probably going to take off my looks and put on my eyeglasses. But, yeah, that's what we're doing. So, let's go.
All right, guys, I'm in TK Maxx, which is like their version of TJ Maxx. Angel is right here. And we're gonna see if we can find anything cute today. So let's go. you guys I am leaving excuse me I am leaving TK Maxx mm -hmm. and I think I got some pretty good stuff this is a cute phone case right I actually really like that hmm? I do how does my phone case look like that my phone is raggedy though. I don't need no new phone case <laughs> in case I get a new phone because my phone's so raggedy. Anyway, um, so I'm just leaving TK Maxx. I think I got some pretty good stuff. Oh, look at this, you guys. That is cute. Champion sweater for $24.99. But um, Angel got a toy, and as you can see, he won't stop pressing the damn button on it. I will show you guys everything I got when I get home. Um, and yeah, I'm just about to head to the car. This is one TK Maxx. They have another one in Berry. This is the one in, um, in New Market. But yeah, they have some decent stuff in here. So it's about 4.15. Darius is getting off at like five o'clock. So I'm about to head back to base to go get him. So let's do that. It's a little cold. Uh, it has gotten a little cold, so I'm gonna put the camera down and wrap Angel up in Darius's police. So yeah, I'll see y'all later. All right, y'all. So I'm back at home. Okay. Uh, I'll show y'all what I got from the VX and TK Maxx before I end. The vlog for today so first things first I got this jacket honey cuz <laughs> okay this is cute but so I got this for Angel I'll show y'all what I got like I said I got this jacket and this jacket was $69.99 but that's in pounds then from the BX I got this <laughs> little two-piece uh, set for Angel that was $20 I got this little two-piece set for Angel. Is that not just the cutest? That was 10. And then this other uh Jordan two-piece set, and that was 20. Two, I also got uh I also got some pins because I realized that like there's like certain things that like needs to be in my bag okay like i'll do a what's in my bag video like what's in my everyday bag or whatever but pen a pen is always in there okay for sure you should always have a pen in your bag girl especially with covid you don't want to be if you have to sign something you don't want to be having to sign with a pen that everybody else they had girl 
you should have some pens in the back. These are pink, and I also like fine point pens. I don't know why, I just do. I just, I don't know, it just looked better to me. So, got some pins. And then, um, y'all already saw the shades, but I'll go ahead and take them out. Okay, are these not the cutest Ray-Ban shades? First of all, y'all, I have been, like, going in on the shades recently. And it's just because I realized that, so, I, like... I, all, I felt like for a while, I had a pretty good sense of style. However, I would always feel like something was missing. And I think I realized what, what has been missing, and that's accessories. Like, I have a really nice outfit on, but I don't have much jewelry or no shades or no bag or nothing. But the outfit is cute. But I would constantly, I felt like I would be hitting a wall. Like, why don't I look... Like, I look nice, but I don't look... All right, y'all, we back. The camera, uh, my battery went dead, so I had to change the battery. But anyway, I would look nice, but I felt like I didn't look completely look together, and it was because of, like, my accessories and stuff like that. Like, these things matter. Honestly, they're probably the most important things in the outfit. You can have on a cute shirt and cute pants, but with no bag, no, no jewelry, no none of that, girl, you look... I mean, you just... It just kind of flat lines like you look nice but it kind of flat lines there like oh she looks nice but you know it's like nah we need to get it here so yeah <laughs> but um so I have been kind of just going in on the accessories y'all and there's also something else that I need to take into consideration when we're talking about accessories hardware okay hardware gold silver you know, of course, there's rose gold and brass and stuff like that, but mainly gold and silver. But I have realized that I had just been collecting so much gold that I didn't really have any silver accessories or, sil you know, or bags with silver hardware and stuff like that. So I need to make sure I have a decent amount of both. I don't want to have a ton of anything, but the things that I do have, I want to constantly be going to them, constantly be pulling them. And that's where capsule wardrobes come in but um yeah so these sunglasses look at i mean come on y'all these are bob these are bob love them okay and i absolutely i love ray-ban sunglasses like i'm one of those people like of course i'll get sunglasses from anybody it's about liking the glasses but i really do like ray-ban sunglasses i am one of those people who are like i am a fan of like levi's makes jeans so i like levi jeans because they specialize in jeans. Ray-Bans is a sunglasses company, so they have great sunglasses. So, if that makes any sense. I also um just got a pair of like little diamond earrings, okay? And they are silver hardware, so yeah. And that's to start building my silver jewelry collection because we need that. So that's all I got from the BX. Now what I got from TJ Maxx, of course, or TK Maxx, excuse me. Of course, like I said, this jacket, this is a Michael Kors jacket. I also got these sweat pants, y'all. So I, you can't tell by the video, okay? But these sweat pants are so soft. Some of the softest sweatpants I've ever felt in my life. It's so crazy. But, you know, just something to lounge around in. They're kind of big, but they look super comfortable and they're really, really soft. So I was just like, why not? Um, I got this little bra. It's not often that I can walk into a store, especially a regular store like a TK Maxx or something like that, and find a bra in my size because I got the itty bitties, honey. Shout out to the itty bitty committee, honey we out here <laughs> but i'm a 30b or 32a girl you need to go into like actual bra shops or like a dormy or something like that something that specializes in bras or lingerie to get your size however i did find this little number in my size at tk maxx and it was only five dollars so oh, five pounds so i definitely had to pick her up oh and the sweatpants were 12.99 in pounds I also picked up these little 
white shorts okay because you can never go wrong with a pair of white shorts and a pair of white pants okay and these were they were $6.99 pounds okay real cute and they are high rise basically every all my bottoms are high rise that's just my thing that's just what I like that's I like it okay uh, next I got this little shirt okay I saw it and at first I was just like hmm you know the shoulder pads are in and stuff like that but just because something in is in doesn't mean I necessarily like it I'm not gonna sit here and say I really like the shoulder pad thing cuz I don't but at the same time I just love this shirt I like the elastic at the bottom I love the color it fits into like the color scheme that I'm going for and it was it's different I don't really have anything in my closet like it have one other shirt that has the shoulder pads in it so you know just to throw on it's it's real nice we're gonna try her out and she and she was only she was $5.99 in pounds um I also got this little top tell me this just isn't the cutest i actually got it to go with the shorts i doubt it if i actually will wear it together i'll probably wear it with a uh, white jeans but tell me this is not just the cutest okay yes and she was 5.99 in pounds just love that and it matched with the you know color scheme and what i got going on um I picked up these pack of like no like what is it called it's like no like when it doesn't have the line like seamless yeah seamless thongs it's just a three pack because I only I literally only have one pack of underwear like this so I'm just like hmm I'll pick them up thongs are not comfortable at all not in the least but when you're in a situation when you don't need your drawers your line to show these work these work wonders um and these were it was $6.99 so yeah cute colors I also picked up a pair of socks all my socks are dingy and dusty honey so we got to get rid of them but uh this is just a two pack I picked up two packs of socks these which are a little thicker and this is black and gray and then these which are a lot lighter kind of like lightweight socks and these are all gray by a brand called Pringle Never heard of them, but the socks feel pretty soft, and they both were three dollars or three pounds. Y'all, it's pounds now, y'all. I'm not gonna keep saying that. <laughs> um, I also picked up this Michael Kors belt. I'm not necessarily a fan of like the monogram gram on them. However, I did love this nice thick buckle and it definitely matches like the color scheme and what I what I'm have going on in my closet. So I picked her up cuz I really did like it and it was only 14.99. So I was just like why not? And it was enough my size. So I was like that's that's a cow we can get that because i don't have a lot of belts belts are another piece of accessory that are important you don't have to have a, a whole lot of them but have some good ones belts that's important girl um next y'all these pajamas are the cutest okay look at this so these are the bottoms okay and then this is the top I just thought these pajamas were so cute you know people always talk about loungewear believe it or not I don't lounge around in loungewear girl I lounge around in my pajamas so for all the ladies look cute in your pajamas girl I'm reworking my up getting some cute ones here and there and these are a good start okay I just love these they are so cute I got them in a size small and they were $19.99 okay i these are so cute they feel so soft i just love them love them love them love them not gonna lie to y'all i got another pair of pajamas and it's a dress it's like a maxi dress it almost looks like a dress that you would wear out but it is pajamas this is a nightgown okay i know y'all just envision me being sexy in my nightgown girl don't hurt yourself don't hurt yourself <laughs> tell me this is just not so cute okay 
I'm serving it up. Okay, it's a little loose too. Get my little shimmy, throw that ass out. Girl, they ready. They ready. But <laughs> this was in the color. Oh, blonde hair. I'm lounging. Can answer the door. Hello, Mr. Postman. How can I help you? Girl, they ain't ready. <laughs> this was $7.99. And I did, they didn't have a size 6 which is what I usually am, so I got a size 8, and I'm sure it'll be a little big, but that's okay, because it's just pajamas, but yes, girl, yes, love that, love that for me, love it, <laughs> um, what else did I get, oh, I got this little shirt, it says Coco on it, I actually got it to go with the little pink sweatpants, just for on those days where I got a quick run out the house, I'm throwing something on sweatpants, the little cute Coco shirt, a little bit of detail, throw on the Lokes bag, girl what? Casual cute, honey, casual cute. I wasn't, so pink doesn't necessarily mesh with the color scheme, but for those like sweatpants and kind of throw on clothes, I figured that would be okay like if i if i'm going to add any color to my wardrobe sweatpants and like just t-shirts or something like that will be the thing but i ain't gonna get too wild with it now just and i don't need a lot of sweatpants i honestly feel like one or two pairs of sweatpants is enough girl you don't need no hope i don't need a whole bunch of pairs of sweatpants but um last thing i got was this little bracelet okay accessories that's how many times we're gonna say it now see what i told y'all about these girl girl nails so um it's just this little bracelet okay i thought it was really cute i am when i do wear my little jewelry my bracelets and stuff like that i like going for like a little stack look not too much stack but you know a little stack chains stack bracelets you know a couple maybe stack rings and that's it you know like i like my things to be kind of like minimal but at the same time real cute so yeah this is only three pounds okay little cute it's 18 karat gold plated but it's sterling silver so it shouldn't turn and yeah, we're accessorizing. We're ready to turn up. Hello. <laughs> but that's all I got. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Wait, what am I talking about? This is... But yeah, that's all I got. So, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Because that's all for the day. Okay, what's up you guys? The next day, or it's, what is it, Thursday? Thursday and I'm already dressed I'll show you guys what I have on later Angel is in the back so today I didn't get to I really didn't get to do like a lot of the stuff that I needed to do yesterday so I'm going to do that today one I need to um, get two pair of pants altered I also need to return a lot of the stuff that I got from Marshalls. Yes, I mean, Marshalls, look at me. <laughs> that I got from TK Maxx. A lot of it didn't fit. So we're just going to go ahead and remove it. I also need to uh, return something. I also need to go pay the car uh, thing and uh, mail a package. <laughs> return something at the VX and uh returns of the sarah too i have a lot of returns today um so yeah i guess today is like the return errands day and paying a, a bill or two but i'm in the car right now we're about to drop darius off this morning angel yesterday angel had grits and a uh, clementine but this morning I made him a green spinach smoothie. I made us all a green spinach smoothie and it is pretty good if I do say so myself. So that's what we got going on this morning. I also packed him an apple. So yeah, we just, that's what we doing today.
what's up y'all so I actually did not vlog any of what I just did because trying to man first of all when I first got there I had to pee second of all uh, trying to manage angel and shop is it's like it's hard I'm not gonna lie to y'all it's hard I have not managed it yet he's angel is at that age where he's not like chilling like I'll give him my phone and that'll only occupy him turn for left onto a1134 that will only occupy him for all of a few minutes he's grabbing at everything I'm, you know he, he's doing a lot so I couldn't vlog shop and manage Angel at the same time but I did just leave Grand, the Grand Arcade we are coming back here this weekend oh that was an accident sorry sorry we are coming back here this weekend so I actually intend on vlogging that and kind of showing y'all what the Grand Arcade has to offer and what Cambridge kind of has to offer so that's just that I did return some things that I bought from Zara a couple days ago and H&M well I didn't return them I actually just exchanged them and I'll show you guys what I got um yeah I'll show you guys what I got in place of it I still have to go to TK Maxx and return <clears throat> the stuff there. Y'all, something is caught in my goddamn throat. I still have to go to TK Maxx and return uh, the stuff there, but... And I still have to go to the BX and turn, return stuff there, but me and Darius are about to get some lunch. Well, me, Darius, and Angel, of course, are about to get some lunch, so I'm headed back to base now. After I head back to base to get lunch, then I will head over to the BX, return what I need to return there. After that, then I intend on... What do I am doing after that? Oh, after that, I plan on going to pay the car... Um, like, I guess you call it like a little car note or whatever. I'll explain that later. And then I'll go to the alteration shop after that. No, actually after I go to the BX I'm gonna mail this bag off after I mail the bag off then I'm going to the car place to pay the little to pay the car note and then after I pay the car note then I'm going to the alteration shop to get the pants that I have altered after that I will plan on heading over to TK Maxx and returning the stuff at TK Maxx so yeah your girl got a lot to do okay I got a lot to do in a little time so even though I, I've been contemplating not going to TK Maxx until Darius gets off because it would just be a lot easier if I didn't have Angel. As you can see, he already like pulling. Sh okay, that's just how he getting down. But I will see. Yeah, I'll figure that out a little later. But I'll see y'all when we get to base. All right, y'all, so let me turn it down a little bit. Uh, don't need no cover. Um, so I just left TK Maxx. I'm headed back to base to go get Darius from work. Should take me about 30 minutes to get there. It's 4 o'clock, so I should literally be making it there, like, right on time. Um, I was able to run all of the errands today sis all of them i went to tk maxx returned the stuff i got some stuff for angel too i'll show y'all that later when i get home um if, fyi tomorrow girl we ain't doing nothing we ain't doing that we ain't leaving the house tomorrow because we've been running but um i went to tk maxx did that returned that stuff went to alterations got the pants hemmed i should get them back next thursday i also um what else did i do i also was able to go to zara and h&m okay we did that we are i am going to cambridge again this weekend so that'll be a part of this weekly vlog because it's wednesday to wednesday um what else went to the car place paid the car note actually um i'm supposed to be going back either on saturday or monday to get the car looked at because it's been it hasn't been stalling but it's been it, it's been taking a while to start up so either i'm gonna go back on saturday before we go to cambridge or I am going to go there on Monday after I drop Angel off at school. Most likely it's going to be Monday, but, you know, might be Saturday. But, yeah, got all of that done. Oh, my God. 
excuse me i low-key probably am gonna have to go out tomorrow and that's to go grocery shopping but if i do go out tomorrow y'all i'm not taking angel's ass okay tell me y'all let me know down in the comments do y'all have a hard time out with y'all goddamn toddler is your toddler buck wild climbing on everything screaming just to scream and all that other good jazz because that's angel girl and i just <laughs> I'm an overwhelmed parent, okay? Overwhelmed, overworked, and underpaid, goddamn. So, um, yeah. But, I'm on the way back. Give me the, let, let me see, dude. And, uh, I'm gonna, I'll get back with y'all when I get home to show y'all what I got. And then after that, we done for the day. So, I'm gonna see y'all later. Okay, okay, what is it? I told you, give it to me so I can see. Good morning, y'all. So, it's Friday, of course. And I know I didn't come back to y'all yesterday, but she was tired and she was stressed out. I don't know about y'all, but I said it yesterday, but I didn't really go into detail on it. Running errands with Angel a two-year-old toddler I don't for any other parents out there please any other mamas out there please tell me if y'all are having the same experience as me because she, mama is going through it you know I'm away from my family another country so it's not like I can call my mama up and be like yo ma can you watch Angel while I run to the store or call up a cousin or call up a, a friend or whatever you know and even the friends that I tend friends that you tend to meet as like a military spouse single people typically meet you know like your friends kind of navigate like you're like no not navigate but you're you know typically birds of a feather flock together so typically when i am meeting friends they mamas too so i can't call her up and be like girl can you watch my baby why she got four kids at home why she got three kids at home or two kids at home or whatever because i damn sure ain't the friend you calling up girl can you watch my son while i go to the store bitch no for what you better take them but <laughs> but taking a child to a store it's a mess. The tantrums, the 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 touching, everything. The not wanting to be in the stroller. The wanting to walk around or wanting to be picked up. You know, it's just like it's just a lot, y'all. It is a lot, and I am I'm up to here. Like, comment down below if y'all have like if if y'all are feeling me or if I'm just tripping. I'm being a dramatic bitch and you just like whatever but it's a lot it's a lot and he is just he's constantly doing the most constantly it doesn't matter how many toys I buy him or how much I give him to entertain himself he always on to the next thing iPad could be all good as soon as he sees something else it's like laser eyes he like oh no now I want to touch that do that you know yesterday we was in the store knocking all the stuff off the shelves like I'm in I'm here in the stroller and I'm turn my head for one second he didn't pull the garment down now I gotta pick that back up get too close to the edge he knocking the shoes down like now I gotta pick that up okay we at the car place he throwing all the markers off the man desk now I gotta pick that up okay I'm cleaning up somebody else's establishment now because of him but I digress y'all I digress actually no I'm about to tell y'all one more thing yesterday I was driving and Angel's a little trickster here him he's a trickster so he hopped out his car seat yesterday don't ask me how but he hopped out his car seat yesterday and what happened was I didn't I'm driving I didn't even like like pay attention to the fact that he had hopped out his car seat but all I heard was like this like a tug at the door I look back hold on y'all I looked back saw that he wasn't in his car seat and almost had a fucking heart attack right so immediately I like slam on the brakes when I slam on the brakes the car kind of like swerves into so I look back and I'm like I look back like this and I'm like angel 
and as I'm looking back, the wheel does like this. And this is a two carriage way or a two way street. So there's cars going this way on the left and then cars going that way on the right. So when I do that, I literally, I, sl I hit the brakes because I, I feel the car swerving and I almost hit the man in the other lane. Immediately, y'all, immediately I am crying. I'm bawling. It's okay, it's okay, I have to get it's okay. Are you okay? Is he okay? Is everything okay? I'm like, I'm not okay, sir. I'm not okay. A mess. It's funny now saying it, but yesterday it was easily one of the most traumatizing things that I had dealt with in a while. And hold on. Okay, we're about to go. And yeah. <clears throat> Between that, the tantrums, and all the other shit, I just, I wasn't prepared and I wasn't ready. Was not prepared and I wasn't ready. But it is what it is now. We're, I'm going to head over to Tesco today. Again, I probably won't vlog much because trying to vlog with Angel just does not work out for me. You know, so, I'm going to just see y'all when we get back home because... You know, like, I want to do these things. I want to, you know, show y'all this mommy life and shit like that. But I don't know if it's hard for y'all, but this, this mommy life is hard for me. Okay? Which is probably why I never want to be one. I see, I saw the mommy struggling. I felt their struggles. Okay? Through the eyes. Through the eyes. You ever look at a mama, like, trying to manage her children or kid or whatever and you see in her eyes like strength in the front but you see like the 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 realness in the back i would see it through the eyes and that's part of the reason that i never wanted to be a mommy because i didn't want that struggle but we're here we're here in that struggle i don't know if y'all looking but can y'all see it in my eyes hold on hold on hold, hold on can y'all see it in my eyes okay the struggle is real okay and I'm not even I'm not I'm not surviving I'm just managing as my uncle always tell me I'm maintaining okay and that's barely barely so um y'all let y'all give me some tips so y'all let me know cuz let me tell you something school my he goes to school Monday and Tuesday that's not enough I need Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday I need all of days all of the days to give myself a break okay but goddamn preschool you know it's so damn expensive i want to send him to a school making sure he's learning something he's definitely learning something yeah at the expense of all of my pretty pennies okay we pay 550 dollars for him to go to school for two days i mean come on i need some more days mama needs some more breaks i can't get shit done it's just a lot Okay, and now I'm ranting. I have been ranting on here from, for seven minutes, okay? Y'all hoes already know y'all don't watch my videos that's longer than 15. And this video gonna be way longer than 15. So hopefully y'all get to the support. Because this is serious. This is real. This is, is mommy struggles right here. Okay? But let me stop uh vlogging and driving with this goddamn camera in my hand i'm gonna need like a stand or something to like put it up i'm not gonna give up on this though i'm gonna keep doing what i do and y'all just gonna have to be patient with me you know this is my weekly vlog number one and let me tell you something this week we ain't even we ain't even halfway into the weekend all week and already i can tell you it's a fail okay we we only at friday we just started vlogging on wednesday it's a fail it's a fail for me but uh we we gonna work it out. We gonna work it out. Um, but I'm gonna um, I'm, I'm, I'm talk to y'all in a few. You know, I might show y'all a little bit of Tesco when I pull up or something like that. Cause that is where I do my grocery shopping. I don't, I may get like a few things, like US things that Tesco.
up y'all i'm at home um this is all my stuff from zara that i got yesterday i ended up going to tesco but angel was acting up a little bit so i left took him to the park a little bit and just kind of let him play around for a little while get some of that energy out of him so he did so hopefully he has a, a good sleep tonight because of that um i'm thinking about trying all of my stuff on but i don't know maybe recording a video doing a little haul of it <sighs> but yeah that's all that's going on i even look raggedy and busted today y'all look at me <laughs> we just ran out today but that's pretty much all i've been doing that's all i've done today i have to go get darius at uh i think at 3 30 i think he's getting off at 3 30 and then once he comes back i'll probably just like start some dinner and that's it but i think i am gonna like do a little try on haul it's gonna be ghetto it's not gonna be nice and all the other stuff because it'll be like my first one but yeah i think i am gonna do that so i'm gonna record this little try on haul video it's gonna be like vlog style and in front of this little mirror right here i ain't even cleaning the mirror job the ghetto but yeah so let's go ahead and do that real quick and then but i don't even have makeup on or nothing like don't nobody want to see but i you want to know i also don't like doing like i don't like trying on clothes with makeup because what if my makeup transfers that's not cute i don't know what i'm gonna do should i do a try on haul comment down below i just told you to comment down below a couple times so good keep commenting but we gonna see I'm gonna see y'all in a few though. Bye. Y'all, I could not get this shirt on to save my life, so I'm just going to insert a picture. <laughs>